What's going on, YouTube? Man, something happened to me yesterday that has never happened to me, to me in probably 20 years. My 1989 Honda Accord broke down while I was driving. I'm driving down the road, going to the post office, totally shut down on the freeway just like I'd broke a timing belt but I always replaced the timing belt at 60 70 thousand miles I've been doing that regularly so I knew that wasn't it but anyway so it goes to the side thank goodness nobody killed me people you know driving like crazy but uh, what you're looking at here is what I figured out because there was a store nearby and some guy gave me a ride. Yeah, see, that's not nice of people to do that. If you see somebody stranded on the side of the road, at least give them a ride to a store. The reason I went to the store is because I wanted to figure out if I was getting fuel or not. So I bought a can of that. Uh, all I did was buy a can of uh, starter fluid. Took the uh, uh, cover, took the the uh, air box off that usually you know you're, you got a tube or an air box or something that covers that that just that comes off pretty easy so I take that off and I spray a bunch of carburetor uh, fluid in there guess what it still doesn't start so what do you think the next thing you're supposed to check is that's right what you're looking at right there I saw that I was getting spark from my main coil which is the next thing you check I had a pretty good spark coming out of there so I thought well then we gotta go to the spark uh, spark plug wires you know so I pulled the first wire put my test uh, thing on it to, you know or you could just I just actually just set it right by the ground I heard no clicking guess what distributor out main probably probably the main part that goes out on this distributor is these these older cars like the 89 Honda Accord they have a lot of components that uh, the the distributor runs to give it spark uh, nowadays they don't have that nowadays they have coil packs and this and that but all your coils and igniters and everything are right here in your main distributor now here's your igniter right here and I can pretty much tell you that's probably what uh, what went out on it. Yeah, they get a little hot, and you know it's it's uh, computer components in there because it's got that uh, you can tell it's got that uh, grease on it uh, to uh, keep it cool. That's what that stuff does. You don't put that you don't put enough of that stuff on there. You can see how it's kind of dried out a little bit, and it's dried out there. It just plugs into there. This is for the '89 Honda Core. Now. I've got to use when I pull from a salvage yard. Uh, this is from another one. This is with the igniter on it. This is just the plate. What I'm going to do is swap this with this and just see if it's the igniter. If it's just the igniter and I put this back on and everything works fine, then then you know. Then you know the, it's the igniter. So it's good to have spare parts. Just a little less free gas and just a little uh, helpful tip, you know. Yeah, it actually could have been the computer that went out on that car, but... You know, nothing is really going to go out that fast. Like, all of a sudden, just... If you're driving along and your car just... Just all of a sudden just quits on you. Like that. It's not It's not your computer. It's not those little... Any little components like EGR valves or... or uh, you know, if your check engine light doesn't come on. It's not your any of your oxygen sensors or any of your sensors. Usually, you can just figure it out by just troubleshooting. So, that's what I did troubleshooted it uh, thank goodness I had some tools and I had another a spare I always keep a spare uh, distributor slapped on the spare distributor and guess what I was on my way All right so I guess when I said I can't blow that car up I guess I can't blow that car up because that's what happened to me just a little test to let you guys know I'm gonna swap these two little uh, components out and I'm gonna let you guys know what happens I'll start it up and see if it starts up let you know what it sounds like if it's a bad distributor but just a reminder these uh, older cars these 89s 90s 91s 
They have, especially in Toyotas, are the same way. They have all the components, even your even your older Hondas, like even your 90 Hondas, 90 through 93 Hondas. All your ignition components are in here, which all your spark components that have to do with it are, are in built inside the distributor. So, and that's a big part of it. So if you're having trouble with your if you have trouble with your Honda, of course I really can't breathe today. And that's it. And that's the video for today. I might make another one, but we'll see. We'll see what adventures goes on. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna say it. I've got to. I can't help myself. <laughs> Subscribe. That's it. Signing off.